Morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. So the goal for today is to gamify radio and do a dry run for an exercise that I'm planning with my friends and family. My goal is to get them interested into radio so they invest the time to study, get their license, and have some skills. And I want to incorporate a bunch of the things I've already done in the channel over the last five years. So specifically, we're going to take a look at turning this into a backcountry scavenger hunt that uses radio and also incorporates land navigation for a multi-day trip. I'm just going to do a couple portions of the lake today. In fact, I probably am planning on putting together a full field exercise for the general public at some point that incorporates this if my group has fun with it. So today we're going to take a look at an Ottendorf cipher or a book cipher, and we're not going to do anything legal. Everything is going to be within the letter of the law. We're going to take advantage of packet radio and my bulletin board system for part of it. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and walk through everything we're doing for today's scavenger hunt in the backcountry. Okay, to get started for this exercise, everybody in my group has a exact edition and copy of the book that I'm using. Uh, for this example, I'm not going to use that book. I decided to go with Takedown. So with the Ottendorf or Book Cipher, uh, you have to make sure that everybody you want to communicate uh, has the same key or the same edition of the book. And the reason for it is that we are going to use specific page numbers, line numbers, and words within those lines as codes. And no, these codes are not going to be going over the air for over radio, so it'll be completely legitimate. So that's step number one. And then for this exercise, I have cached throughout the uh, Tonto National Forest a bunch of heavy mail bags and Pelican cases to do a couple of different things. Some of it might be resupply, some might be uh, morale items that are picked up, uh, some might be challenges like building antennas from scratch, a lot of cool stuff. So I'm going to read for you the first portion of this exercise. TTP field radio exercise instructions. Welcome to the second TTP field radio exercise. Today we'll focus on building skills that bridge radio and backcountry activities. Follow these steps. Number one, find your key. In your kit you'll find a book entitled Takedown. Uh, we're using a different book. This will serve as the key for the Ottendorf cipher, also known as a book cipher. Number two, decode the cipher. You will be given a three-digit string. The first digit is the page number, the second is the line number, and the third is the word number within that line. Look up the word in Takedown, the book we're using today, as a reference and note it down. Number three, this is where we're going to incorporate radio. Connect to the bulletin board system. Use KT7RUN-7 to connect to the TTP BBS. Everybody in my group uh, has standardized on the BTEC UV Pro. Uh, most of the guys have a terminal application called Wode that runs on Android. So that's all they really need for the radio portion of this exercise. And they only need their tech license. So very low bar. Step number four access the special app. Once completed, type takedown to access the application uh, for the exercise. And I've created a small application uh, in the bulletin board system. I'll talk about how I did that probably in a much later video. And it'll allow us to do some cool things. Number five, follow the prompt. At the prompt, type the word that you retrieved from the book using the exact case for further uh, instructions. Uh, and then in, in this kit here, I actually have on a sticky note uh, the first challenge here or the first uh, key, which is 67-1-9. That is page 67, line 1, word 9. So we have to identify that word in the book. And then when we log into the BBS and go into that application, we type it in and we're going to get another set of instructions for the next leg. So number six here is what's next. For the remainder of the exercise, you will repeat these steps to get to the next waypoint. Use the UTM grid coordinate system and map to provide or a map provided to navigate to your next location. So I've done a, a couple of videos in the past. I'll link uh, those below or up here or even at the end of the video on my preferred method for land navigation. I use something called uh, UTM and I like it because it is a one kilometer square grid system and it's very easy to get from point A to point B. Uh, you're given uh, a zone and it's really irrelevant for our exercise since we're going to be operating with probably no more than 10 kilometers total for the full exercise. So I printed out a uh, map here as well using uh, UTM at a scale of 1 and 24,000. And then also in the little uh, kit, I've included a UTM grid square. 
so that they could find the exact position. So we're gonna go log into the uh, BBS using just the radio that is mounted right here, my Android phone, and we're gonna get the instructions for the next leg. So this first packet had page 67, line one, word nine. So let's go ahead and go to page 67. We've got line one, and then we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the challenge is Metnik with a capital M. And let's go ahead and hit the BBS. All right, so step one, we're gonna turn on our radio and I'm on the packet frequency, 145.710 that I'm using out here. And then we're gonna use my Android phone. And as I mentioned before, my whole team has at least this kit. I'm gonna serve as the RTO for this exercise as well as the instructor for the land navigation portion. I will have some HF kit with me, but for the most part, all people need for this exercise is one $150 radio and an Android device. So we're gonna launch the WinLink on Android application, and I did a video on how to use the terminal program not too long ago. So we'll go to other terminals. I'll connect to my TTP BBS, and hopefully we're within range of my station, and it looks like we're already connected up. So as you see there, there's a new application that I created called Takedown just for this video, and it says let's do some training. So per the instructions, I'm going to type in Takedown to access that application. Hit enter. And if this works successfully, we should get a small prompt and acknowledgement that we've connected, and we have done that. So now I'm going to go ahead and type in with a capital N, uh, Metnik. Metnik. That's a great book, by the way, guys, and we're going to send that across. And if the challenge is accepted by the bulletin board system over packet, uh, we'll get an acknowledgement. If the word is not there, it just exits completely and you get nothing. And it says there is a watering hole at 12 Sierra, and it's at 404668 Easting and 375 1828 uh, northing and again the nice thing about UTM is that we know where we are on a grid uh, Pretty easily because all of the squares are one kilometer by one kilometer So I can take a look at my Garmin GPS right now and my current position is uh, 403550 East by 3751735 north. So I can I know I can plot myself on the map using these coordinates using my uh, map there and grid square and then I can also plot the coordinates for this guy and I'll have a fairly easy visual sense of how far I am uh, in either a east west and also north south uh, bearing. So really straightforward. Again, I encourage you guys to take a look at that video. That's not the subject of this video. Uh, the whole point of this video is to really encourage people to take all the skills that we've learned uh, together on this channel over the last few years and try to make them real world practical, but more than anything fun because the goal is to get people in my group, in my community excited about this stuff so that they're more inclined to uh, again, go through that first level of studying to get their tech license here in the U.S. so they could do this exercise, get outside, be healthy, do that fun stuff, and then once they see what we can do with some of the HF stuff that will be part of this training exercise where we have other radio challenges. I've got a JS8 call challenge in there as well that has some information that's ready to go. Um, it should be a lot of fun. So I'm trying to tie in all of the techniques and practices. Most people say, oh, you always bring this stupid little computer out and uh, I don't know why you need that. Uh, anyways, uh, that's my uh, sad ham uh, impression. Sorry, guys. Uh, I, I do love and respect the amateur radio community, but there are some bad seats. Anyways, guys, uh, so this is how it's going to go. Uh, some of the other fun things that are in this Apache case uh, are some of uh, the gear that I'm going to cache, for example, like an antenna. Uh, I've got an extra phone just in case someone doesn't have a uh, Android phone. And then we've got more goodies that are going to be cached and then even some fun morale items. All right, guys, I think I said it, but maybe not. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared.